Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Data Science for Everyone. So recently we had a great question come out, and that was, how do I download all the stocks from an index, such as the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ? And I thought maybe um, we can kind of go over this together in uh, real time so we can just kind of play with it. So first off, let's go on and uh, pip install Y Finance so that we can grab this. Now, the thing is, is that if we look at the Y Finance documentation, uh, we can actually, um, and actually, you know what, let me go on, and while that's looking, I can, we can pull up uh, the Y Finance documentation, and we'll go to their uh, GitHub page in here, and we can take a look and see here if they have anything pertaining to the index funds, or maybe S&P, and again, they don't really have anything like that. Now, we can look here that we can get all kinds of information as we've talked about in the past, okay? Now, the one thing that they do allow us to do is put in multiple tickers, okay? Or we can use this, uh, I prefer to use this download method here. Um, so we can use like, um, so here we can do SPY, a, a, um, PL for Apple, that type of stuff. And we can do all other types of information as well. Now, probably one of the easier things that I've kind of found to do is actually kind of do a little bit of scraping. So let's go to uh, Wikipedia in here, and let's just pick up um, the S&P 500. Okay, and then we should be able to find in here something like their ticker symbols or something. Uh, maybe we'll just Google search it real quick. So if we do, well, I'll go back up to the top here and do something like uh, S&P um, 500 um, uh, ticker list, maybe. Let's see what that comes up with. And I want to actually do this in Google. I don't know why it's coming up with. Whoops. S&P 500 ticker, maybe do list of companies. I actually have that in here from before. So, all right, so here we actually have a list of companies from the S&P 500, okay? And so I'm just kind of doing this just, um, honestly, it's kind of fun, just the idea. Now, what we have here is actually this uh, symbol. That's actually what we're going to want. So we can go on and actually do a quick kind of scrape from this, uh, from this data. So I'm gonna copy this web page, and I'm gonna go back over and, um, I want to actually clear this output here. So if we do something like import pandas as PD, import uh, Y finance as y, as YF, I think we're probably going to be set. So first off, let's do something like a symbols. Uh, actually, uh, we'll do um, SP wiki. And I'm just going to put the, this is actually the address that I copied from the S&P 500 list. Um, and then let's go on and SP uh, uh, wiki data frame. And this is a list. So if we do pd.read uh, uh, HTML in here, we can put in that S&P uh, wiki. And I'm going to change that to S&P wiki UR, URL because that's actually what it is. And if I do something, um, I'll run that and then do SP wiki list um, and actually just print that out. Now we can see here that we actually have a list of um, data frames, okay? And what that actually does, for those of you that don't know, is so here we see that there is this um, table here. Well, using the, um, the uh, pandas uh, read HTML, we'll actually go through and we'll grab all of the tables that are in here. And you can see that there's actually a couple tables in here. See, this one changed. Um, actually, we can even see here if we go back and I do something like um, length of this list. And here we see that there's two. So there's two tables on that list. We actually want the first one. Um, and so we'll do SP uh, data frame. Um, and then we'll do SP wiki data frame list and we want zero in there. So uh, let's take a look at the head. 
And now we can see here that we have all of the symbols. Now what's nice about this now is that we actually have a list of all the symbols. So let's do something like SMP um, symbol dot values. Here and notice now we have an array of all of the symbols. Now I cannot guarantee that um, our Yahoo uh, Finance or Y Finance has all of them, but I can say that it, it probably has at least a little bit. And so let's do something like SP uh, ticker list. Um, and I'm actually going to force this to be a proper list as well. Uh, so now if we look at here and do something like, uh, oh, there we go, so you can see everything. Um, do something like SP uh, ticker list. We can actually print that out and you can see that they have all of the tickers in there. Um, but we're not gonna really want that. We're going to go on and do something like, um, uh, whoops. Uh, we'll do something like uh, df is equal to our yf dot download here, and we're going to do sp uh, ticker list, and um, I'm just going to leave it with everything blank for now. Let's just see how it does. Now there are 505 uh, uh, data sets in here, so let's actually kind of go on and see how that does. Um, I don't know how long this is going to take, but we'll see what we have in there once it's completed. And I'm going to speed up time here um, just so it doesn't uh, take forever for you guys. Okay, so now that's down. That, that took actually a, a couple minutes. And we can see here that um, a couple um, items failed. So I don't know what this bf.b BF and bkr.b are. But one of them was the symbol wasn't found. And here we have, for example, um, this, uh, the time date was wrong. Um, now, one thing is that you see here that, that there are 105, and again, it's just because this is a time series. Companies have fallen off the Fortune 500, they've come back on the Fortune 500, and so then, depending on the time that we're grabbing, you're going to have more or less than five, or well, you'll always have at least 500, but you may have more than 500 at a time. So let's go on and take a look at the data. Now, you can see that there are a lot of... Uh, missing values in here because again this goes all the way back to 1962 um, we can go on and always clear them but what we actually want to do here is if you notice that it has like the adjusted close and then it has a bunch of the names of the uh, indices here right well what we're going to want to do is uh, kind of clear that up and let's just say that we want to grab um, the adjusted close then we can actually do something like uh, um, let's, let me actually just do, um, adjusted close and save this. And then we can do something like we, you want to see, um, let's actually just look at the data dot. I'm just going to plot them all just to see how bad it looks. And again, there are 500, uh, over 500 of these and so they're going to probably take quite a bit of time I probably should have thought about that beforehand maybe grabbed all of them that started with a or something like that um, but it, it should give us out something here in just a second all right I decided to stop that because it was taking a significantly long time so let's go on and maybe just um, look at the columns uh, the column names um, and let's say that we want something I don't know, we can just grab, I don't know, um, let's just grab these first ones just so that we can kind of plot something out here. Um, we'll do subplots is true. Okay, and so then here we can see that we have an, uh, a large number of our plots. Again, it's not very pretty. We can um, maybe do something like a fig size in here is going to be um, 12 by 8, maybe. Let's just do 12 by 12 um, and rerun that. So it'll be nice and big. 
for us. But here you can see, again, there's not much going on. Um, you would have to probably clean up the data, get rid of, again, a lot of the missing data, and grab that. But here we have actually grabbed up all of the S&P 500 data. Uh, and we've done a very quick plot with regard to that data. Um, I expect, again, you guys can do um, all kinds of nice, fun stuff with doing some prediction algorithms and that and whatnot. But at least right now, you can see that you can grab all of them fairly quickly using a little bit of, um, I wouldn't even really call this web scraping. I would just say grabbing data from another source, um, cleaning it up. So again, if you guys found this helpful, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.